The Baby Blues are back out. Jose Barrios on the rubber. He has been not just the Blue Jays' most effective starter, maybe the most effective starter in Major League Baseball. Seventh start of the season for Jose. Four and one with a Major League leading 1.23 ERA. First pitch of the day. Grounded to third. Picked up by Ernie Clement. He'll throw over to first. One out. Bobby's hit in four straight. And he was on base two more times last night with a first inning single, a stolen base, and a run scored. Jammed, but he's going to drop it into right field for a base hit. Bobby Witt Jr. has a one out single. He extends his on base streak to 14 games. Ball was hit straight up the middle, picked up by Bichette, who steps on the bag and then throws to first, and the Jays turn the double play. How about getting out of trouble in a hurry right there? And now it's Cole Riggins. And he gave up just one run over five innings against the Blue Jays on Thursday. Springer hits it right to Isbell in center field, so both starters get one out on one pitch. And now a two hopper is hit to Michael Garcia. And Reagans with three pitches has two outs in the bottom of the first. Another 0 2 pitch. Fastball hit on the ground at first. Salvi scoops it up, takes it to the bag himself, and steps on it before Bichette's even halfway up the line. Bichette's out. That ends the inning. Salvador Perez is ready to lead off. Salvi, 346. His batting average, seven homers, 26 driven in. Well, he's going to drop another base hit into left field, and that jammed him. He's shaking that pain out of his right hand, but he is on to begin the second inning. And now he has a career best. 20 game on base streak. Massey went one for five with an infield hit last night. Kind of a slow start to his season. And now Massey hits one into deep right center field, and the Royals lead 2 0. And it's a two run shot to right. Yeah, before the game today, Massey said, I'm going to do something special today. And here he is in his first at bat. Barrios here gets that slurve. Massey drops him head on it, and a no doubter. Stays behind the ball great, sinks into those legs, barrel flying up through the zone, and Drives this ball out to right center field. Big two run homer for Michael Massey. Schneider came up with two singles yesterday. He's on a real hot streak at least recently. 1 1 pitch. Line drive down the right field line on the run is Renfro. He's going to have to play it on a hop. He runs into foul territory. Runner going for a second. The throw in is ahead of the runner, and the runner is out. As Bobby Witt Jr. lays the tag on Davis Schneider, he Hit one down the right field line and Renfro did a good job to get over there as quickly as he could. He made the throw from foul territory. We know he's got a very good arm. He threw a strike to Bobby and that throw was waiting for Davis Schneider and all Bobby had to do was lay the tag on him. Bottom of the fourth and we're at the top of the order. George Springer steps in for the Jays. The pitch swung on and missed strike three biting slider down and in Springer went after it anyway. Three strikeouts now for Cole Reagans and there's one out in the bottom of the fourth. Some teams do Cole Reagans a favor when they pull all the lefties out of the lineup and there's only one in there tonight in Kevin Biggio because the numbers will tell you that he's tougher on righties than lefties. Chased a fastball at 98 and now back to back strikeouts for Reagans and he has four. Even with Turner's strikeout in the first he's nine for 16 against left handed pitching the pitch. Smacked high in the air, deep to center field. Isbell races back right on the edge of the track. He makes the catch. Turner's out, and that ends the inning. Hit hard into left center field. Freddie Fermin is on to begin the Royals' fifth. Yeah, great at bat from Freddie. First pitch, Barrios throws that two seam fastball in. Then he goes to that slurve, and then Freddie makes him come over the plate and just stays inside the ball. Liner to right. Biggio has a beat and makes a nice catch for the first out. Kevin was all over that one. Pretty good jump in right field and you know off the bat of a left handed batter that ball is generally going to keep hooking away from you toward the line. Runner on first with one out. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Ground ball to short. This could be two. Bichette up with it over to Ikea. Back to first. Double play. 6-4-3 to end the inning. Thank IKF with a base hit to right field and he'll step on the bag at first. Maybe this will get something going for the Blue Jays as they've been quiet with the bats most of the night. Just their second hit there Chris. The last three hitters against Reagan's all right hand batters have all hit the ball hard to right field. 
Well, Vizio wanted to bunt and then he took three fastballs for strikes. Fastball away at 98. Or just go back to the gas. Cole really feeling some confidence with that fastball. Goes right back to that spot on the outside corner. Vladdy hit his fifth double of the season yesterday. Scored Addison Barger from first. Guerrero powers the ball to left center. And that one drops down in front of Isbell. IKF will go first to third as the throw comes back into the shortstop. And there's runners on the corners now for Bo Bichette. First time tonight that the Blue Jays have put a runner in scoring position. Bichette with a line drive down in center of base hit. IKF scores. Vlad stops at second. And the Blue Jays are on the board. It's two to one. Just like that, very good approach, thinking the other way. You can tell by the way his swing, he really stayed behind that baseball. It was a cutter from Reagans, and it stayed out there, out over the plate, behind the baseball very well. Toronto had one hit in the first five innings. Now they send Justin Turner to the plate with a chance to maybe do some more damage. And 0-2 pitch, and a swing and a miss, and he strikes him out with a fastball. Cole Reagans, his eighth strike out of the night. He strands a pair. Amongst the Looney Dog celebrators today, over 42,000 dogs consumed. And Joe, we started today talking about the great pitching matchup, and it's pretty well lived up to the bill so far. <laughs> Swing and a miss, strike three. Got him with a good slurve to strand two runners and keep it a one-run game. Misses again, back-to-back -back walks. And Matt Quatrero looks like he's thinking about something here. Kyle Turner is going to go out with Matt Quatrero to check on Cole Reagans. And they're going to make the call to the bullpen now. Reagans walking off the mound. Hopefully everything okay with him. First and second, two down. The pitch and a swing and a chopper to the right side. Pitcher will field it. He'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So one unassisted as Schreiber gets the soft contact to the right side, gloved it, ran it to the bag, and stranded two base runners. Looking for a little bit more of a cushion with Bobby Wood Jr. at the plate. Golf down the right field line toward the corner. Fair ball and one hops the fence. Garcia rounds third. He's in to score easily. Quick throw to second, but Witt's already there with an RBI double. The Royals extend their lead. It's 3-1 to one in the top of the eighth. And Bobby Witt Jr. comes through with a runner in scoring position in two outs. And Vinny's got a chance against Cabrera again with Bobby Wood Jr. at second base and two outs. Breaking ball hammered deep straightaway right. Biggio back onto the track, turns around, and it's off the top of the blue line at the top of the fence. Wits in his score. Pasquintino slides in his second. He's got an RBI double. The Royals have a 4-1 to one lead. That was mere inches from being a two-run homer. Here's James MacArthur. With six out of seven in save opportunities. Fastball popped up down the first baseline. Salvi ranges back on the edge of the outfield turf. Massey comes over, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. James MacArthur delivers a perfect bottom of the ninth, and the Royals even this series in Canada. Final score, Royals four, Blue Jays one. The Royals have a club record 17th win in the month of April.